I'm going to take one case this morning. I'm not talking about demons, and I'm not talking about apparitions, and I'm not talking about manifestations. I'm talking about rock-hard science, okay? Microbiologists, who are these people? These are the guys who sequence DNA, all right? Deoxyribonucleic acid, that DNA, which is the code structure of your body. They sequence it. What are they doing that for? They're trying to find out, and let me read it for you. This is an amazing thing. The headline says this, microbiologist with link to race-based weapon turning up dead. What's that? Well, let's look closely. Two American scientists worked with were Benito K, 52, Don Wiley, 57. Both microbiologists had been engaged in DNA sequencing that could provide a genetic marker based on genetic profiling. The research, now watch carefully, the research could play an important role in developing weaponized pathogens to hit selected groups of humans, identifying them by race. You ever thought of such a thing as that? Two years ago, both men were found dead in circumstances never fully explained. You remember how I told you that the elite are racist? You remember what I told you about that? Why, why, why would they be preachers? Root race theory. The seven successive upward, upward uh, uh, evolutionary uh, uh, progression. The root race theory. Adolf Hitler was one of the most racist men who walked the face of the earth. He made it plain to everybody that that blonde-haired, blue-eyed, Nordic-featured, like this killer up here in Norway, that just shot to death all those people, was the was the was the Aryan epitome of of what a of what a human being should be, and all the rest of the scum underneath uh, aren't even fit to live. Now I told you that Margaret Sanger, when she started, when she started Planned Parenthood, and folks, if you don't believe me, go check it out for yourself. Was as racist as she could be to the core. I don't know if you know this or not, but if you go back and if you'll go check the uh, the 50 million kids have been butchered in this country, 50 million. Is that right? Am I correct in that? 50 million abortions. Go find out what percentage of those babies are black. Go find out. Go find out. Go find out how many Planned Parenthood clinics are located in large cities and out in the urban sprawling areas where there's a con concentration of black people and you'll be amazed at how many of these, of these are black babies. They're controlling the population that way. Now we have microbiologists who are, can control the population through a pathogen that they can create in a lab that can target a certain a person's race. You say, well, that's insane. Not really. Not really. Nobody knows to this day where AIDS came from. They don't know where AIDS came from. I, I heard it said 20 years ago it came from the green monkey. I'm sure many of you have heard that too, but nobody ever proved where it came from. There are many people out there who believe AIDS came from a laboratory. They believe that. I can't prove that one way or the other. But I do know that it has created chaos, and I do know that the New World Order will, will bring order out of chaos. I do know that, and I do know that they have, a, they have a motive in everything that they do, and that they've already said time and again that the world's population must be reduced. They're going to reduce the population. And here's what they plan to have in this, in this new world. The super rich and the herd. No middle class. Middle class will be gone. Last, if you get on Drudge right now, he, st he may still be posted on his main page. Get on Drudge and you'll see where he says, black middle class eroding quickly. All right? Middle class, the middle class. Europe has, sur has the serfdom and it has the king, all right? That's been the system in Europe. America created a, a, a cultural system that's unlike anything else. They had super rich, always have, always will. They had the very poor, but they had the middle class. 
You see, they had the middle class, the buffer between the super rich who dictated over the very poor. The poor couldn't, they kept them uneducated, they kept them ignorant, they kept them poor so they could use them and work them. Did you believe that you're doing that today? That's exactly what all these bailouts were about. That's exactly what this new world order intends to do. Geneva Convention, in at least four cases, just on depleted uranium alone. And as uh, Mr. Duff pointed out, tactical nuclear weapons were used, at least one in Iraq, and several were used in Afghanistan in the Tora Bora Mountains, which actually mm. created an earthquake at the time. And you've got to look at the history. Um, Who's responsible? Well, in America, the ultimate commander-in-chief is the president. He has to give the final signatory to all weapons that are used. But historically, a lot of the chemical and biological warfare started off in Rhodesia. And, and when the uh, regime went from white to black, Maggie Thatcher panicked and decided to move the whole shebangle and the staff mm. all the way down to South Africa, where, where that uh, research and development was continued. They even developed a black-only bomb that targeted the Afro gene. And there's even talk now there may be one for the Chinese gene. You know, this is absolutely insane.